talking shit, talking mess. You look a bug out. And these guys, the most I jacks you up physically, he's jacking you up, jacking up your your close, your your love, so-called loved ones. And you think it's because you're following the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Nah, it's because you were being lukewarm niggas. Yeah, lukewarm. All right? Being, being. Okay, this is Jeremiah 44 and 17. But we will certainly do whatsoever thing go forth out of our own mouth to burn incense unto the Queen of Heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto her. As we have done, we and our fathers, our kings and our princes in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem. For then we had plenty of victuals and were well and saw no evil. But since we left off to burn incense to the Queen of Heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto her, we have wanted all things and have been consumed by the sword and by famine. All right, this is, I want to give all praises to the Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, double honor to the Apostles of the Great Millstone, peace and blessings to you uh, brothers out there doing the work, truth and sincerity. All right, it's a brother out here. Um, just wanted to bring that point out uh, about catching hell in his truth. And you got a lot of guys that don't understand judgment. They think that uh, they're 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 catching hell because they are in the truth. Because this is not a truth; it's a so-called cult, and they're being manipulated by uh, by sorcery, you know. And they think when uh, things happen in their life, when they get jacked up, their family might get jacked up, their health. They think that uh, it's judgment from the Lord for following a, a false doctrine. When 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 uh, really it's a chastisement of the Lord if the Lord loves you. So let me uh, let me go right into the scripture. This is Proverbs 3 and 11. It says, my son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, neither be wary of correction. That's right, man. Um, being rebuked and reproved and exhorted, man, by brothers, man, that's because the Most High love it, uh, loves you. It's going to go into the next verse. For whom the Lord loveth, he correcteth, even as a father, the son in whom he's delighted. So you guys don't understand judgment when the Most High is trying to tell you something. When the Most High is judging you, you might have an ailment, you know, demons coming into your head. Something might happen to your family, man. You know, these are all things that, that, that get you back in, in order, man. This is the most I bring you back into repentance. If if you receive it, if you're a brother, you know, and brothers uh, rebuking you, you know, that, that's all part of the Lord's love. If, if you are a part of the elect, but you got niggas out here that don't understand judgment. And that's why they think that the, the and that's why going back to the, the book of Jeremiah, what happened was, uh, Jake was worshiping, worshiping these other gods, namely the queen of heaven, man, which that's still uh, real pre prevalent in this today society now, man. They're worshiping the queen of heaven and they were, uh, they were able to partake in all these goodies. They were getting these goodies from these gods, man. Satan was taking care of them, right? But since, uh, and, and, and let's fast forward to this day and age, you come into this truth and you just start catching pure hell, man. And you start catching pure hell and you start, you start, them demons start coming into your mind thinking like, Am I catching hell because I'm 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 doing this? And I'm cursing people out. I'm saying they're gonna die. I'm saying that it's only for Israel. You know, I'm hard on my people. You know, I'm hard on women. I'm saying, you know, America's gonna be destroyed. And then demons start pl plaguing you. And you and you start catching, you start catching hell. And then what happens, man? You you fall out because you think that you're catching hell because you're you're not doing the right thing. You're 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 uh you're um you're understanding. Is on the of the tradition of men and of the, the traditions of America, man. When if you're part of the elect, the Most High, He's chastising, chastising you to bring you through the fire, man. All right, uh, bro, go ahead. You have scripture. Oh yeah, all right. Go ahead. This uh, this Proverbs chapter twenty-eight, verse five, and it says, "Evil men understand not judgment." But they that seek the Lord understand all things. That's right. Evil men. Yeah, that's right. Evil men don't understand judgment, man. That's that's why they, they, they and really when it comes down to it, these guys were lukewarm man. they weren't in the scriptures, man. They, they weren't in the scriptures. They weren't staying in the spirit. They weren't they weren't hanging out with brothers. Right. Read that again. Ak. Evil men understand not judgment. These are evil men, man. Evil men understand not judgment. They don't understand the judgment of the Lord, man. They do not understand the judgment of the Lord. Okay? And the judgment of the Lord, he's he going to jack you up, man. We're, we're, we were sent here to serve slavery, man, in bondage. We were sent, we were sent here to, to be, be spectacles. We were sent here not to, not, to have a, a, not to be a family man Israelite. Not to be a multi-millionaire, man. Not to excel in this kingdom 
on the worldly aspect, man. We was out here to be going, going we we're out here to, we were raised, we were called to be prophets, man. We were called to be prophets and to cast away our life for Yahweh Shai's sake, all right? But a lot of these guys, they think judgment of the Lord is actually a uh, judgment because they're, 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 they're serving the Lord when it's not, when it's not so, all right? It's chastisement. All right, one. Go ahead, bro. It's uh, 1 Peter 2, 2 and 19. For this is thankworthy if a man for conscience toward Yahweh endure grief, suffering wrongfully. For what glory is it if when ye be buffeted for your faults, ye shall take it patiently? But if when ye do well and suffer for it, ye take it patiently, this is acceptable with Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Oh, yeah. So that you're supposed to, you basically you're supposed to be ready to uh, suffer for doing the right thing. Not only for when you mess up, because you, because it, um, it goes into it in the next scripture as well. But when you in here, when you in the truth, you basically you, and it says it in the scriptures, we catch the hell now to be purified, going through the fire to right. take out all our impurities. I got, the, I got it, bro. I got it. And, this, that's right. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like the brother said, we're we're catching hell to make the 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 to bring us to to bring us into repentance and to make us to make us uh refine us, man. As that, as that, as that gold of Ophir, man. And if you think about it, if you like, if you're not catching hell, you actually just doing good all the time. Then you, you would forget your eye. You would lose sight of the prize, which is the king seeking the kingdom, seeking Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Because if everything's going well for you, you got got a good job. Everything's going good. You never catch a hell. Everything's just perfect. Like literally, nothing going bad. Then you would think in your mind, like you don't. You're doing everything right. You don't have to do nothing else. You can just fall back, start being more content. And when you catch hell, that keeps you in the right mood. Like you still, you be in the right spirit, seeking out, bashing out, shy. It keeps you. It keeps you humble. That's right. It keeps you. It keeps you humble, man. Um, let me bring. I'm gonna bring. I'll bring out another scripture. Uh. I had one, uh one yeah. Let, yeah. Yeah. Um. Cause, cause you, cause you said uh, when everything is going, when everything is going well, man, that's that's a tell, tell, that's a tell, tell sign that that you're not in the spirit, man, and that the Most High is not loving you, man. All right. I didn't mean to bring it out. This is Luke. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. This is uh. This is this is Luke six and twenty six. Woe unto you when all men shall speak well of you, for so did their fathers. To the false prophets, man, and, and that and that's right. When everything's going right, when men are saying, "Oh, good job, good video, you're doing good," when your wife is when your wife is uh, uh is off is all for you, she's she's totally in order, man. She's in order and wickedness, man. When everything's going right in your life, man, that's woe unto you, man. Destruction unto you, man. Because we were we were we were made to be uh cast through the fire, man. Because we're gonna we're gonna receive. Lord, we're, we're part of the, the first fruits. We're going to receive everlasting, everlasting life, man. And, and you, and you niggas, man, you think judgment of the Lord, man, is 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 not chastisement, man, because a judgment of the Lord, man, all right, to to the to the elect, man, that's chastisement to bring you through the fire and to purify you, all right. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, I have not that quick piece of what you're saying. This is Zechariah thirteen and nine. Okay, gun. I had that. Uh, Go ahead, bro. Kill yeah. it. And I, and I will bring the third part through the fire. What's the third part, man? It's talking about the one third, man. And what's the fire, man? It's talk. It's talking about this this hell that we're catching, okay? And then uh, and then physically the nuclear fire, man. Go ahead, bro. And we'll refine them as silver. Is right. Refined. And how is silver? How are how is silver refined, man? When they go and dig for silver, man, it has it has it has rockets all over it. It's in different parts. It's not purified. All right. What do you do? You gotta you gotta constantly put it through the fire man you gotta constantly put it through the fire the fires the hell that we catch man and niggas don't want to catch them they don't want to catch that hell man they don't want to the yahweh shy yahweh shy was catching hell man but they don't want to they 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 want they talk about yahweh shy but they don't want to live the life as yahweh shy he said pick up my cross and follow me man he said count the cost and you niggas don't count the cost and you think judgment of the lord it is is because you're doing the wrong thing when you're actually doing the right thing. That's Satan that's trying to trick you, all right, and come into your mind and to tell you, oh, this is not the truth, all right. People, you, this um, this is uh, um, uh, witchcraft. 
All right, you're supposed to talk to our people nice. All right, you might have ailments. You know, you never had ailments in the world, man. You was A-OK, -okay, man. Everything was going good, man. You had a, your wife, your kids was in order. You had a job, money. But ever since you ever since you left off from serving uh left off from serving other gods, you start catching up a pure hell because the most high, the most high is that's that's love. Alright? And you gotta remember that the most high is the one the the, the one who uh who 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 uh kill up and make up alive. The one side the most high is the one who puts you through the fire. And if you're part of the elect, man, you're gonna keep pushing his word, alright? Uh, if I could say this too, like when you like when you think about it, when you in the world Basically, Satan got you because you're in the world. Because Satan controls everybody else out in the world because you you just do a demonic shit. But then when you try to leave off from that and then become a new man, that's when you start catching all the hell because Satan tried to pull you back into the world. That's right. Because this world is not conducive to the Israelites, man. Uh, and, and especially a man of the Lord that's trying to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. All right? Because why, man? Everything, everything is contrary to the scriptures. Everything is against the Lord. This is this is the Babylon, the place where our Lord was crucified, man. He was crossed out. All right. All all righteousness was pushed off, and, and the so-called white man has came and implemented his system of witchcraft, man. All right. And with that witchcraft, if you follow heed to the witchcraft, you will be able to uh, partake in the goodies and in and, and the greatness of America in wickedness, man. And, and and that's what you niggas want. You niggas want to be part you you want to be hand in hand with the so-called white man. You want to partake. In the, in, the, in, the, in the greatness of America. What's the greatness of America is nothing but wickedness and vanity, man. And that's the same exact thing that was happening in the land of Egypt. Jake did not want to go out. Jake did not want to leave Egypt, man, and have their own land and be, and, and be a holy people. They didn't want to keep the commandments, man. All right. What did they want to do, man? They wanted to serve the other gods because the other gods allow you to do whatever the hell you want. And it appeased to your wicked flesh. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead and finish that. Yeah. I'm going to start from the top. And I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined and out. And I and will try them as gold is tried. Yeah, how is the most high trying you, man? By by putting you through by putting you through these adversities. Man, but if you have trust in the Lord, man, the Lord is not gonna put you to put you through too much that you can't handle, man. You gotta you gotta you gotta put your trust in the Lord. And a lot of times these guys, when it comes down to it, these guys were lukewarm, man. And they don't understand judgment. They don't understand the Lord. They're really procrastinating and perpetrating this 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 facade that they're in the truth when they're really not. All right? Go ahead, bro. They shall call on my name. They shall call on my name. Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, man. And that's what we do constantly, man. Praying to the Lord, man. Praying and fasting to keep to keep strong, to push in his word, man. All right? Because we, the, uh, uh, us, uh, 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 us as men in here, man, when we woke up to the truth, we we realized that this is just nothing. This is this is all smoke and mirrors, man, and this is not for us, man. All right, we want we want to be we want to be in order under Yahweh Shema Shai in the kingdom, bro. We don't want to stay here, and you niggas want to stay here in America, man. Why? So you can work, so you can serve, so you can serve America. You can serve the so-called white man, your daddy, which is the which is your God, man. The scriptures say that he he tries to be like God. Go ahead, bro. They shall call my on my name, and I will hear them. Right, he shall. They shall call on my name, and I will hear. I will hear them, man. When you are going through that hell, man, the Most High will hear you, man. If you're in truth and sincerity, and you really, really want to serve the Lord, man. Okay, and and you're you're proactive. You're not lukewarm. All right. Inevitably, we understand that it's election sake. The scriptures also say to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, man. How do you work out your own salvation with fear and trembling? First and foremost, you got to believe, man. You got to believe in Yahweh Bashim al Shai. You got to believe that this is the truth. You got to believe that the Most High set up the elders on down to bring out this word. And then you got to believe that you're supposed to go out on the highways and the byways and, and, and speak to your people. All right? But a lot of these guys don't want to go out, man. Go ahead, bro. I will say it is my people, and they shall say the Lord is my power. Right, we will say Yahweh is our power, man, because now the majority of our people are not saying that, man. They saying America is their God, man. They saying money is their God, cars, clothes, women, Caesar Bolgier. They're not, they're not, they're not looking for adversity, man. And a lot of times, and the majority of times, Jake don't want. They know it's the truth, man, but they know they gotta, they gotta tighten up, man. They know that they can't be niggas anymore. And what does that do? That doesn't appease to their flesh. These niggas still want to smoke 
They still want to commit adultery. They still they still want to partake in all the wickedness of America. <laughs> and, and, they, and they don't and they don't want to adhere to the word of the Lord, man. And then, and then you got niggas that try to come into the truth and see how it's not even strict, man. But it's the it's the most high casting off that old man when you come into the truth. OK, you become a new man. You're renewed. And these guys, they don't want to do that because why? Their deeds were evil, man. Go ahead, bro. That was it on that. Okay, you got gonna, another preset? Yeah, I was yeah. going to um, continue on the, uh, the first Peters. Okay, come on. It's first Peters uh, 2 and verse 21. For, uh, I'll start back at 20 and just go into 21. Okay. For what glory is it if when you be buffeted for your faults, you shall take it patiently. But if when you do well and suffer for it, you take it patiently. This is acceptable with the how about shim yahweh shai. Yeah, that's right. When you catching hell, man, you gotta be you gotta be patient, and you, and you catching hell for doing right, man. You gotta be patient. That's acceptable for the that's acceptable acceptable to yahweh shai. They expect to be rewarded for doing good. Right, you doing expect what you're that's to what do. I'm saying. You you doing what you you're supposed to do, man. We're 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 unprofitable servants, man. We're no, I'm sorry, slot. You don't want to be an unprofitable servant, man. A servant it does what he's told to do, man. What are you gonna do with an unprofitable servant? You're gonna cast him out because he's supposed to serve, man. We're supposed to come down here and we're supposed to serve y'all by shmouth shot. All right, that's what we're supposed to do. Anything outside of that is vanity. Anything outside of that, that's not what you're supposed to do. Being called into this, being called into this, man. You're called a, 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 as as a man of the Lord to come out of America, man, and proclaim and let people know, hey, I serve the Lord, man. All right. I'm on the side of righteousness. I'm not on the side of wickedness. And, you know, if my life, if if, if you want to take my life, take it. But I'm going to serve the Lord. All right. Do you slay me? I will, I will keep my integrity, man. Go ahead, bro. For even here on two, where you called, because Yahweh Shai also suffered for us. That's right. Yahweh Shai suffered for us, man. Come on, man. Yahweh Shai came down, man. Yahweh sent his son, Yahweh Shai, to come down and die for our sins. All right. And, and 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 our people rejected him, all right. He didn't have no women, man. He didn't have no family. He, you think he didn't want a woman and family, man? Yeah, he did, man. He was in the flesh. But you know what he said? He said, "I came to do the will of my father, man." And that's what you niggas not you're not willing to do, man. You're not willing to do the will of your father because you value your life too much, man. You value your life. Niggas want to go to, they want to get the, the, the degrees and build up their self in this society. That's what I'm saying. You want to get a degree, man. Hey, man, the scriptures talk about use the world but not abusing it, man. You ain't supposed to dive head deep into America, man. You go into them, them so-called degrees, man. That goes into masonry, masonry, man. Witchcraft. Them colleges are nothing but witchcraft, man. I'm talking about building up in this in this society. How are you going to build up this society when the Lord said he's going to cast down? It said, thus will violence, Babylon shall be cast down, man. All right, and then it talks about Esau, Esau shall build, but I will throw down. So how the hell are you supposed to build into society when the Lord's going to throw, throw it down by nuclear missiles, man? And right now as we speak, America is going to global, as I, is on the brink of global collapse, man. It's already collapsed, man. Yeah. Go ahead, bro. For even here unto where you called, because Yahweh Shai also suffered for us, leaving us an example that you should follow his steps. That's right, man. You both the example, man. The Lord read, and, and you niggas are not reading the scriptures, man. The the example, man. What was the example? And you got guys talking about, uh, you can't be you can't be a leader or a head of a camp if you don't have wife and kids, man. Who's the ultimate example, man? Yeah, I was shy. Did y'all was shy have wife and kids? So that goes to show you that you err not knowing the scriptures, man. All right, you err not knowing the scriptures. Is that done on that? Yeah, I got a scripture. This is John, the John third chapter. It says, uh, it says, uh, John 3 and 18. He that believeth on, on him is not condemned, but he that believeth is not condemned. Is he, but he that believeth not is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of our only begotten son of the Most High. And this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world and men love darkness rather than light. Because their deeds were evil. That's right, man. These guys, these guys hate, they hate righteousness, man. And they don't want to come into the light, all right? They don't want to come into the truth or they come into the truth and fall out because their deeds were evil, man. And, and, and that light, that light is being shined on them, man. 
like a, like a, like a you turn on the on, on the on the light of your kitchen and a roach scurries, man. But he's come, bro. He's he's comfortable. He's 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 having he's having a ball when that light is turned off, man. And darkness, that motherfucker's having a ball, man. He's all in your cupboards, eating your food that you left out in a trash can, hanging out with his friends and family. You know, every day every day is a, is a, is a good day. But once that light comes on, once that righteousness hit him, he scurries. He don't want he he can't he can't. He cannot be in the presence of righteousness. He cannot be in the presence of Yahweh Shema Shai amongst brothers. All right? And this is a condemnation that light is coming to the world. And men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. For everyone that does evil hated the light. Neither coming to the light, least his deeds should be reproved. And, that, and that's exactly it, man. These niggas don't, they don't want to stay in. And they fall out because the deeds are being reproved and they don't want to be reproved no more. That's why you got guys that, that would uh, disable the comment boards, man. All right. They'll make, they'll fall out. All right. Won't just, they just won't fall out the black. They'll fall out and then they'll uh, make a video. All right. And then <laughs> the, 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 they don't want to be reproved because they know scripture is going to be flying because their deeds were evil, man. But, th but that's but that's that's you niggas, man. That's Jake, man. Jake doesn't want to follow the Lord, man. They think following the Lord, you they think following the Lord is evil, man. And following the ways of America is righteous. You had a scripture. We're ending on this, bro. It's uh, talking about wisdom in Sirach chapter four. For at the first, for um, Sirach four and seventeen. For at the first, she will walk with him by crooked ways and bring fear and dread upon him and torment him with her discipline. Until she may trust his soul. Right, that's right, man. You catching hell, man. Wisdom, man. Because when you come up out of that, when you come up out of that fire, man, you're the most high is grounding you and and, and make you into make you into a uh, 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 um, uh, understanding and a, and, a, and a man of judgment and discernment, man. And giving you knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. But before it, before he while he's doing that, in the act of him doing that, you have to catch hell. You have to know both sides. You have to know how to be a base and a bound, like Paul said. You have to know judgment, because inevitably the Most High sent up the elect to judge the, the 12 tribes of Israel, all right, and to judge the whole world, all the nations. All right, go ahead. Until she may trust his soul and try him by her laws. Hey, tr the trust, okay, are you going to try him by the laws, catch, um, um, following the law, statutes, and commandments, man, honoring the Sabbath. All right, not 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 popping your woman on her period, man. The, the wisdom, the most high is, is is trying you, man. He might put hell on you. Yeah. All right, to see to see if you gonna keep going. The scriptures say wisdom um, surely oppression making up a, a wise man mad. Right. So the more that you increase in, in knowledge, the more that you are gonna suffer. That's right. That's just that's balance. Because you want to get more wisdom and understanding, it had, wisdom is going to try you even more now. Since you want more under wisdom and understanding, now you got to deal with more. That's right. That's right. That's heavy. So, the, to like like they say now in the Spider Man movie, to um, yeah. to who much is given, much is um, required. Yeah, yeah. Basically, so basically, uh, basically, like with great power, power great responsibility. Yeah. So you got when you get more wisdom and understanding, now you got to deal. You got that wisdom and understanding that you want. And now you got to deal with. It. More demons now. Yeah, high like level, that. higher level higher demons, level. higher level demons that you think would have never um, came to you or coming to you, man. And you think that's judgment from the Lord, man. And it's really reproof if you're a man of the Lord. All right, go ahead, bro. Uh, verse eighteen. Then will she return the straight way unto him and comfort him and show him her secrets. Then, man, that's when the Most High start. Then you see that the Most High is dealing with you, man. And he's giving you this knowledge and understanding. And then you see, you look back on what the Most High did. And you say, Thawada Yahweh Shai for bringing me through that and giving me that understanding. Because I was I was weak in that area, man. It could have been a woman. It could be You could be weak with women in the Most High. The Most High is like, look, I'm not giving you a woman. I won't give you a woman for two years, man. To why? To build you up, man. That's the Most High bringing you back to repentance, man. That's the Most High loving you, man. Because if you, because he could have, he could have gave you a woman, and you could have fell out over that, over that woman, man. But you niggas take that, you niggas take that as as judgment of the Lord for for doing right, man. When really it's chastisement to bring you through that fire, man, so you can so you can make it, so you can make it on them chariots, man. And the whole time when you're going through it, you you don't even really fully understand why you're going through it. But you, then that's after right. it's over, 
that's when you can really ex examine yourself and look back on the whole situation and then you can really analyze it and see that it was actually for your own good. And man, you and you and you and you praise the most high even more because you be like, man, I would have never even thought to do that. You 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 start reflecting, man. You start you start meditating on the fact like, man, like yeah, I was catching hell, but I needed that hell, man. I needed it. Uh, 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 if you have a son and your son is going off and you don't correct your son, you don't love your son, man. You don't love your son. You don't love your kids if you don't tell them right from wrong. Yeah. You hate them. Yeah. Go ahead. In this uh, verse 19, but if he go wrong, she will forsake him. Yeah, if you go wrong, if you, <laughs> if you cast off that wisdom, man, he she gonna forsake you, and he gonna and the Lord's gonna take that spirit away from you, man. Go ahead. And give him over to his own ruin. And give him over to his own ruin, man. Basically, destroy you, man. Fall back out, fall back out in the world. More demons hop on you, and totally destroy you, man. Wisdom, man. Wisdom will do that to you, because now that you get more wisdom, more more demons are gonna start coming to you, because you because you're gonna because you're gonna. Understand that you're even further, uh, more further oppressed than you are now. And then you start, man. You know, when I was in the world, man, I had goodies. I got to go out every Saturday. I had, I had all type of women. You never had demons messing with you. Yeah, you never had demons messing with you. Everything was good. You, everything was cool, man. And then all of a sudden, things you lose your job. Your woman talking about leaving. Your kids got ailments. You all of a sudden you got diabetes. You don't know what's going on. You're trying to eat right. Everything just going wrong. That's anything possible. Anything possible is going wrong. And then your family coming against you, talking about you in a cult. Your job might come against you, and you take and you take that as you take that as judgment from a false a false god, man. That you're doing wrong when when actually, if you're a man of the Lord, you supposed to you supposed to keep pushing, man, and rely on your how about Shemal Shai. Cast cast all your uh. Your burdens on Yahweh Shai, man, and keep pushing and, and ask the Most High to bring you through that fire. You know, ask brothers to pray for you, man. Pray and fast. But you niggas don't understand judgment, man. That's what it comes down to, man. So with that, man, we're going to wrap it up. Hey, uh, 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 Lord willing, we was edifying to you, brothers. And Shalom.